More people moving into the area means more pets. The city of Boise plans to increase the number of dog park areas, but they also want to make sure that everyone knows how to get along. It's just another day at the dog park for Finn. A two year old golden doodle when he just runs around and chases all the balls and his owner Kelsey. He has such a blast, especially with other dogs and they're not alone. Idahoans love their dogs. We hear a lot from our citizens, our customers who say we want more areas for our dogs to run off leash. That's why there's a new dog area being built at Ann Morrison Park called Dog Island and why from now on every new city park built by Boise Parks and Rec will include an off leash area for dogs. We'll just have an area that will be fenced off where you can bring your dog and, and you can have your dog run free in that fenced off area inside the actual park. It's just the kind of news dog lovers like to hear. They need off leash. They can't get enough exercise if they're on the leash. So it's nice to have a legal place and kind of a contained place to take them. And the fact that they can play around and interact with other dogs. I live in an apartment, so. And it helps them uh, socialize a lot as well. But more dogs could mean more potential for conflict, especially if not everyone follows the rules. Rules are posted at Boise's four designated off-leash dog parks. If your dog's aggressive, they're not welcome. And you are legally responsible for your dog's behavior and any injuries they may cause. At all other city parks, city code requires dogs to be on leash. And don't forget to pick up after your pet. The biggest thing is just common courtesy uh, with your pet. Dogs are not allowed at Quinn's Pond, Veterans Park Pond, and Esther Simplot Park. The city's four animal compliance officers issued roughly 600 citations last year alone. Knowing we all are going to share the same space, and if we share it appropriately, our dogs will get along, and the humans will get along as well. Bottom line, if we all use our city parks responsibly, the more likely we'll all have some fun, just like Finn is. So the dog parks are really nice to have. Boise Parks and Rec has much more detailed information about their dog parks online. We've included a link in this story at KTVB.com. I loved uh, Finn's dog cam yeah. perspective of what Finn was looking at. But I always wonder about conflict. You mentioned conflict in there. You were there for, what, an hour or so? Did you see any issues? No, and the people the, we talked dogs with all, all get along? Yeah, the people we talked with all said, no, I've not had any issues. I have heard of others, though, having issues. Mm -hmm. um, just, you know, just like sometimes people can't get along. Sometimes <laughs> right. dogs can't either. So <laughs> yeah. just make sure that if your dog has aggressive tendencies, that maybe you keep that leash close by. I've never heard of anyone growling at another person or biting somebody. <laughs> <laughs> on the hand though, so I just wondered about that. All right, we'll have to check it out.